you think it's harder now to be a Muslim American, or was it harder right after 9-11? Well, um, I think it's probably harder now. We were attacked twice, the actual attack of 9-11 and then the reaction to it. So do you think it's worse now than it's ever been? I believe so. I believe so, yes. The effect is uh, in the legal arena, in the social arena, in the business arena. I'll tell you one thing, right after 9-11, we had a president of the United States, George W. Bush, and I disagreed with him on almost everything. But he went to a mosque and he stood with Muslims and he said that Islam's not the problem. That is the kind of leadership that our country needed at the time. And when I was a brand new elected member of Congress, he extended his hand to me and said, Ellison, I'm glad there's a Muslim in the Congress. You know, he's from Texas, right? Why have we all come? We wanted to travel to places like Northern Virginia, Minneapolis and Staten Island with sizable Muslim American populations and get their perspectives on the effects that the 2016 election has had on their communities. I think a lot of the Muslims are in fear of what may come if Donald Trump wins, since he is so opposed to Muslims, and a lot of people do support him for that. Um, that's actually terrifying to know that a lot of people are against us. They say now, with Donald Trump as a Republican presidential nominee, the discrimination against Muslim Americans has become more mainstream. There is a clear uptick in the anti-Muslim, not only sentiments, but attacks. What kind of things have you heard from Muslim Americans in your community about Donald Trump and his campaign? Fear and disgust, those are the major two. Um, and a disappointment that, that they are misunderstood. You can't get past the fact that we we're, you know, triple minority, right? We're um, immigrants, we're Muslim, we're black. Donald Trump has offended every minority in this country. It's absolutely not what conservative principles that I have worked with and worked on and fought for for 27 years are about. Some parents have raised concern about their children saying, oh, well, you know, do we have to leave this country or what's going to happen to us? And I tell them, no, you're not going anywhere. You know, we're not living in that time. My son came to me one day, he's eight years old. He said to me that, Daddy, uh, if Trump elected, is he going to kick us out? I said, I know, now I said, I need to talk to him now because, uh, you know, his rhetoric is affecting my family now.